if you confidently said 30, you just fell for the classic trick. All right, check this out. 6 minus 1, 7 minus 1. At first glance, it looks pretty simple, right? And I get it. This is exactly where most people slip. You look at 6 minus 1, that's 5, and then inside the parentheses, 7 minus 1 is 6, so multiply them together, 5 times 6 equals 30. Feels neat, feels complete. Easy answer. Confident. Boom, 30. Honestly, that's exactly why this problem is a trap. It lulls you into thinking subtraction happens first just because it's written on the left. But math isn't about shortcuts, it's about the order of operations. Before we solve it properly, take a second and hit that like button and subscribe if you love catching these little math sneaky tricks. Trust me, your future self will thank you for learning the correct approach. Now, here's the real logic. This is all about PEMDAS. That's parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction. And a key detail, multiplication and division are done left to right, same as addition and subtraction. That means the subtraction doesn't automatically jump ahead of multiplication. It happens only in the correct left-to-right sequence after parentheses are resolved. Step by step, let's redo the problem properly. Start with 6 minus 1, 7 minus 1. First, handle the parentheses. 7 minus 1 equals 6. So now we have 6 minus 1 times 6. Next, Multiplication comes before subtraction. PEMDAS says multiplication or division first. 1 times 6 equals 6. Now, perform the subtraction. 6 minus 6 equals 0. So the correct answer is 0, not 30. See what happened? That obvious shortcut of subtracting first completely ignored the rule that multiplication takes priority over subtraction. It's a sneaky little trap that catches even the most confident math brains. If you spotted something I missed, share it in the comments.